Okay, this is a quick video for my friend about how to map um, on-off effects for macros. Um, so we'll just use an EQ8 for example. And then we'll group it. And um, you can click map here. And we'll just on-off this EQ. And it opens up this window here. If you don't see it, you can just click this little triangle. And we'll set the minimum to be 1 and the maximum to be 0. Something like that, I think. And then um, if we have the knob at 0, the effect is off. If we turn it to 1 uh, or higher, the effect turns on. So you can even do like this, I believe. Um, yeah, something like that, Point 0.1, something like that. So it, just the slightest little tweak turns it on. And then uh, say you wanted to map this to your um, controller. I have a little button here on my controller that's not mapped to anything. And we'll just push that button. And we can do the same thing here. I think our... Um, We'll set the, the minimum to 1, not point 0.1, because ultimately we could set this to 127. That means that when the controller is pushed, the value is going to be 127. So maybe that's another thing that you would like to see as well. See, if we press this uh, controller now, it turns the button... Ooh, I did it backwards. Wait, I didn't do it backwards. What's going on here? Yeah, I did do it backwards. Okay, so anyways, yeah, the max is 127, and it's a momentary effect. Um, I'm not sure, you, I guess you'd have to have a toggle button on your controller, but this is a, a momentary effect. So when I push the button on my controller, um, the effect goes to 100%, which you could do this with any um, rotary knob in Ableton or macro control um, just by opening up this map thing in your MIDI controls. Um, oops, that's not the right one. In the MIDI controls. So also we can set this to 1 now and it'll do the same thing because we set that other value to point 0.1. See? So anyhow, that's how you do that. And like I said, you could set um, this knob to control any value and when you macro it to your controller, you can just set this to be whatever the maximum value you want is. And um, if you're using a knob, so for instance, if I remap this to this rotary knob here, then of course it has a typical 0 to 128 value. But um, still, right at 1, you turn the effect on or off. So. Anyways, I think that's everything.